What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another Ball Carter video. We are on video or part nine of our Topps Chrome 2024 experiment here. These are blaster boxes out of a case. We're doing a full case rip. This is the ninth video I've done. Um, so we got four more boxes after this video. We're almost there, almost to the end. Um, pretty good case so far. Uh, the whole experiment is about, is a $40 blaster box even a good idea to buy? Yes, expensive, overpriced, no doubt about it. Is it even worth the buy? Is is there is there enough refractors, enough rookies in here to make it worth your while? Are you getting some parallels and autos, have a little fun? Um, so we're gonna see here, um, I'm gonna do a little recap at the end of uh, our next video. So our 10th video, we'll do a recap. Also wanna throw in there guys, we're doing a little uh, free giveaway just for fun here. Uh, Bowman Mega Box, LED of the Cruise. Uh, rookie mojo PSA 9 valued about 30 to 40 dollars um, all you have to do to have a chance to win this just like three videos comment on three videos of the top scrolling videos that we're doing three of the ten and make sure you're subscribed and you'll be in the drawing to uh, win this uh, LED the cruise rookie card and we'll do that at the recap video uh, that should be here at the end of the week and yeah it's pretty cool all right before we get started here, I'm gonna do one of these. I've done one of these in a few videos. We're gonna go with some uh, Bob Ross. Happy little tree mints. These are my good luck mints. I don't always have the best luck with them, but more times than not, more times than not I do. So we'll see how we do here. Um, if, you, if you haven't seen it already, uh, two videos ago, like a day or two ago, I hit a uh, Rookie Rush um, South Fralick Red Parallel to 5 in the video. And I have no idea what the value is on that. It's a sweet card. It's such a cool insert. And uh, I don't know if I mentioned last video, it the odds of hitting that card in a blaster box is 1 in 1.3 million packs. That's insane. So if you did a, like a Hobby Delight box, uh, you had like a one in 6,000. So, okay, it's a tough tough one to hit, but in a, in a blaster box, one in 1.3 million. I've never hit, never hit that rare of a card. So that was crazy. All right, so let's go get started. We're gonna have a Ray Wave here, and I, I'm gonna promise you it's not a rookie, but it's a Juan Soto. Man, we've been hitting some Juan Sotos. Uh, Ray Waves, they don't come in rookies, only veterans. Uh, uh, same with pink. Pinks are a little more rare, but Ray Waves, you only hit a rookie when it's the Aqua, uh, the Aqua Parallel. Um, I don't know if that's an actual thing, but in this case, that's an actual thing. Um, maybe MVP. So this would be a $40 MVP card. I'm actually going to put that to the side there. Um, I mean, Juan Soto has a legit shot. I mean... Aaron Judge can get hurt. It happens. And if he does, Juan Soto's next in, and that's a good card there. So we got a nice rookie refractor. Um, most of the rookies are in the sepias or the regular refractors like that last card there. Um, rarely in the pink, never in the right wave, and um, the prism. Maybe I've maybe hit one or two in the prism. So White Langford, it's a nice base. Rookie to get. Machado, Aaron Nola. I'm gonna sleeve this up. I sleeve up the good base, guys. Um, if, it, if you're a top five rookie, I might grade this card because White Langford, I think, will be in that top five collectible rookies. Oh, we got a Prism. Probably not a rookie. Uh, Tyler Fitzgerald hit his rookie earlier in the uh, early video. Like I said, not a rookie and a rookie. <laughs> it's just kind of how it is. Um, I'm not really a fan of that. I am, ooh, ooh. We got another Rookie Rush, and I'm pretty sure we got a Shohei Pink on the back. Spoiled a little bit there. Man, we were doing good with the Rookie Rushes. So if you want to buy Blasters, if you like the Rookie Rush cards, you hit them. This will be the third one of the case. So let's go ahead and check out this nice Shohei Pink. That's a $40 card right there. Most likely win the MVP. Put that off the side here. And I'll let Rookie 
Yoshinobu Yamamoto. Boom. Uh, that is green. It looks green, but I don't think... I think that's just the normal color of it. Wouldn't be numbered on the back, but... I'm not seeing a number in anywhere. Look at that. God, that's a third one, guys. We hit a red to five of South Relic. And then I've hit a Yamamoto. And then... What was my other one? I hit somebody else. <laughs> Can't remember who it was. But, man, I will take that. That is a gorgeous card. Uh, a lot of people are saying this is their favorite insert in a long time. Gosh, what a hit. What a pack. What a pack. $40 card, pretty much automatically, barring injury. And a Yamamoto rookie rush. God, that is, that is sweet. Well... Bob Ross, mint, happy little tree mints. If you want proof that it works, and there's lucky juju in there, I think I just proved it. Nice Jackson Holiday, Aaron Judge. That's a twenty dollar. We're hitting the Shohei and Judge, uh, refractor rookie. Um, earlier in the case we were hitting a lot of Shohei and Judges. Now we're doing it again. So Shohei and Aaron Judge they show up together. So if you start hitting some, you're going to hit a few. So. Look at that. Look at that. I'll put that back. Here. So that's 60 bucks in MVP buyback right there. Two guys most likely going to win it, barring injury. It's a nice Jackson Holiday again. He would be what I would consider maybe a top five rookie that I would actually grade the base. Might actually be worth grading some base. Oh, my gosh. I think, I think we hit our first Evan Carter rookie card of the whole case. <laughs> oh, my goodness. There it is. Yes. Like, I think, I'm not even joking. This is the first Evan Carter. We've opened up 33 boxes. 33 boxes. And it's our first Evan Carter and it's a sepia. That is, that's a nice one. Wow. What a box, guys. That was the value in that. A couple of really good base rookies. Evan Carter sepia. Rookie Rush Yamamoto. $60 in MVP buyback. Boom, I'm up to, so if you do Shohei and Aaron Judge, and they're going to be the MVP guys, I'm up to $220 in buyback. I don't know if I'm changing anybody's mind about blaster boxes, but I will say buying them in bulk is the way to go. Obviously, the setup that I have, I can do it a lot easier. And I say a lot of people, so there is that. Um... But if you have the money, I, I think getting a case might be the way. Nice Marte there. And we're going to go with a non-rookie, Ray Wave. Yep. Just kind of expected. And a Mookie Betts on the pink. All right. Because I will say, if you, if you just buy uh, two or three boxes, you might strike out and not be happy about Topps Chrome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, unless you're lucky, you gotta buy. Uh, you gotta buy some bulk. And it, it's looking like there are good hits and big hits in retail. That's our first all etch. This box is a little more uneventful, but yeah, whatever. Pete Crow Armstrong, and there we go. Another twenty dollar card. Dang, we're doing good on that right now. They come in waves. Everson Pereira on the Sepia. I love this rookie. God, I, I feel bad for him. He is... Uh, he got injured. Yankees kind of aren't... They're not playing him and they're not trading him. And they get kind of kind of tired of the Yankees not doing that. But here we go. That's $80 in buyback in this video right now. So I mean, we're up to $240 in this case of buyback. That's... Pretty good, right? And we got an L.A. De La Cruz. Apparently the Judges and Otanis and L.A. De La Cruz's are all in the same. And Tristan Cass is on the pink. That's definitely... I mean, this one, why wouldn't you grade? Why wouldn't you grade an L.A. De La Cruz? Base card. Totally worth it. Honestly, it's probably a $40 to $50 PSA 10 card. It's collectible. I would like a PSA 10 of him. 
I'm sure a lot of other people would. I, that's another thing. This set has got a ton of PC potential. Nice refractor there. A lot of PC potential for a lot of people. I mean, definitely for me. I've got guys in here I like. I'm guessing a lot of other people. Ellie De La Cruz, Jason Dominguez, all the Jackson. We got a Merrill on the back. That means it's going to be a Sepia. Nice. And nice Pete Crow insert. And we got a nice Jackson Merrill Sepia. You know what we haven't hit yet? Yeah, we haven't hit um, um, image variation. I don't, I don't know how rare that is. Probably in retail, it's pretty rare. But you never know. That'd be a cool one. I'd say that's one of the things we haven't hit yet. You kind of would think there'd be at least one in a case, but I don't know. I keep forgetting, I, I need to research the Ray Waves to find out if rookies are only in the parallels and veterans in the rigor. Don't know. When I do the recap, I might break down. Kind of, oh my God, I have a judge on the back, guys. I have an Aaron judge on the back. That's going to be another 40 bucks. Rookie, Austin Wells, that's a good one. Ray Wave, not a rookie. And Aaron judge, 40. That's a $40 card. Guys, check this out. <laughs> oh my God, that's uh, in this video. That is forty, eighty, hundred and twenty dollars in buyback. So I think I'm up to two hundred and sixty in buy. I think I lost track at this point. We are doing really well on that. Man, I will take it. We're getting the names right now. It's kind of hoping we would. Nice refractor on the Henry Davis. I'll take that. I don't think I have a spot for refractors yet. Another judge insert on the back. All etch. All right, we got our prism coming up. Most likely it's not a rookie. Prisms are tough hits for rookies. And a Sepia Horner. All right, are we due, are we due for a parallel coming up here maybe? I need a parallel, I think, guys. Okay, Curtis Mead. Juan Soto, I'm gonna put that off to the side. He is a possible MVP buyback candidate. If Aaron Judge were ever to go down, that'd be a shame, but you never know. I'm actually racking up some good, some good Juan Sotos. We'll see Gunnar Henderson, probably the next guy in line, Bobby Witt. But right now they have a lot of work to do to catch up to, uh, catch up to Judge or Soto. Um, National League, we got Shohei, Bryce Harper. I don't know if there's, I, I in the in the end, Skeens might be up there. I would imagine. But Cedric Moles on the Sepia. All right. We're doing good. And these, these are some uh, pretty sweet boxes here. All these MVP buybacks made up for the first three boxes. Like they already paid for those three boxes. Can we keep the streak alive of Judge and Otani's? All right. We got a Ray Wave. Which will not be a rookie. Keeper Wheeze and a pink. Pinks are rare for rookies. I don't know what's gonna happen when people kind of figure that out. Like how rare a ray wave, if it is possible, or uh, how rare a pink. Like right now, a pink rookie is, in my opinion, pretty rare. I don't know. Don't know what they were thinking with all this, but. Hey, we got an Evan Carter rookie card. Boom. Julio. It's a nice Julio card. All right. I'm going to sleeve this up. It's a, one of the top rookies right here. Top 10 rookie probably. All right. We got Prism coming up. Prisms are always tough on the rookies. Yep. And Sepia. Not a whole lot in this uh, this box so far. 
I think we're doing parallel maybe though. We're predicting a possible parallel. We got a nice pink. All right, Henry Davis. And man, we are hot right now, the Evan Carters. Nice refractor. Ah, that's a nice card. Boom. What do we got right there? Getting good names. This box had some good names. No, no parallels in this whole opening, though. I don't know if you call the all itch one. That was a big hit, though. I'll take that. And all itch. Jose Ramirez and a pink Granky. All right, that's it for this video, guys. Another fun one. Man, these are fun. These are fun. You can hit you can hit some rare cards. All right, here's the number of rookies. Look at that. That's a huge stack for Topps Chrome. Possible buybacks. Look at that Ray Wave Soto and a base. No rookie prisms. No rookie Ray Waves. Uh, no rookie pinks. Pretty sure. Nope, no pink rookies. And then we got like uh, three. Three Sepia rookies, I think, in this one. Four. Uh, plenty of refractor rookies. That's where they all are. It's, it's weird how they printed these. Boba Shit. Small Etch. Nice Judge. Nice Soto. Pete Crow rookie. That's nice. All right. Our hits. Um, you know, top five to ten base rookies. Nice Ellie there. Uh, here we go. Nice Evan Carter. Jackson Merrill and the Sepias. Those are some big rookie hits right there. Um... Evan Carter and Henry Davis on the refractors. Um, and then check out the buyback. 40, 80, 100, 120, 120 buyback right there. That's awesome. And then hit of the break right here, guys. Yoshinobu Yamamoto, rookie, rush, all etch. Not numbered. I kind of was wondering if maybe it was a green just because of the background. Because the red, it was red because of the, the background there. But I'm guessing green is the base, so... Dang, that was fun. I had fun with that. That was exciting. I'm telling you guys, Bob Ross. <laughs> uh, we got one more video left to go on this, guys. Thanks for joining me. Like, comment, subscribe. You guys like the content. Getting that drawing for the LA Daily Cruise card. And we will see you in the last video. And then a recap will follow that uh, in a day. So see you later.